What's up guys, it's Matt with Galaxy Games 843 back with another vending video. In today's video we are at the laundromat and I don't know if you can see it guys, but our Dixie Narco 276 is long gone. That's right, we have fully transitioned over to the new Dixie Narco 501E and look at all the things inside guys. So it, if you didn't realize, we just kind of transitioned all of our existing product over to this machine, but we had space to add more new things, so we're adding new things as well. So starting it off, you can see we're adding blue Gatorades right now. We've also got some yellow Gatorades in there, and we added Monster Energy. Other than that, everything else is the same. Mountain Dew, Pepsi, Coca-Cola, Orange Soda, Grape Soda, and Diet Mountain Dew. And we're going to mess around with things. We're going to see how things sell. We're going to see what works. We're going to see what doesn't work, and we'll make changes as we go. The good news is with this machine is we have a Nyax VPOS Touch credit card reader on the front and now it reports all of our sales to us, it reports our inventory to us. Even though this machine is just five minutes away from the shop, we always know exactly how things are going at this machine. We don't have to just go check on it, which is pretty cool, right? So anyway, I, if you follow us on the community tab, I put up a screenshot of the Nyax app showing the sales for a couple days here, or actually just an afternoon or a day or whatever you want to call it, from this machine. And uh, everybody was asking some questions about, you know, what, what app is that and how's that work and everything. So go check out our community tab. I'll even put a picture up here on the screen of that picture so you can kind of see what things look like. But anyway, in this video, we're only going to stock up a couple things. We're going to do some tests. We're going to prime, uh, prime one of the motors. We're going to do all kinds of stuff like that. As you can see, I still need to bring more things to stock up. Grape is really low. Dye Mountain Dew is low again. Um, probably going to have to put some more orange in there. Uh, but things are going really well at this location so far with this new machine. As you can imagine, it's much better than the old machine that we had here. It's got bigger capacity, it doesn't jam up, um, but you are going to see a couple issues we're having with this machine already, but we're going to rectify them going forward. So let's talk about that for just a minute. So in this video, we have one issue with a quarter stuck in the coin neck. Now, I know I know what you're thinking, you know, we're, we're, we're jamming again, but that's not going to be the case. It was just a one-time thing, we had a quarter stuck in the mech, and we're going to rectify that in this video. Also, one of the buttons is giving us trouble, um, but it seems to be fixing itself. I don't know. We'll talk about that more when we get to that in the video as well. But here we go. One thing you can notice differently about how this machine stocks is the Dixie Narco 276 that we used to have here only stock cans two deep, where this machine stocks cans three deep. So you can fit a lot more cans because it's the columns are deeper than the uh, 276 was. So there we go. Now I'm doing three cans deep, and especially that Mountain Dew on the far right-hand column, that's the wide column, so you can fit even more. So, how are things going from here? Things are going really well. I've been monitoring the sales in the Nyax app. We're doing, our, our sales are up day over day. I think the owners of this location are gonna be very excited when they get their commission for the next month, and that's gonna be really cool to give them even more money. They were really excited that we brought a new machine in, because uh, they were tired of the problems with the old machine too. So we're happy that that's all taken care of and not that the old machine didn't work you know it just it just it had coin jams every now and then and you know they got complaints so luckily we're all good to go things are taken care of now so we're good all right so now's a good time to remind you too guys if you haven't done so yet it's time to subscribe to galaxy games 843 here on youtube as you know we're working our way to our next milestone so we're almost to 3,000 subscribers we're in the 27s right now once we get to 28, move to 29, then we'll be on to the 3,000, and we need your help, guys. So if you haven't done so yet, click that subscribe button, click that bell notification so you get notified when our new videos and our live streams go live. Also, while you're down there, give us a thumbs up to like the video, so that way it helps YouTube promote our videos to other new viewers, new viewers, actually. All right, so I'm just checking the cam settings here to make sure all the settings are correct when it comes to vending the motors and all that good stuff. Um, it's all good for the cans, but I had to check to make sure it was correct for the blue Gatorade. So let's go ahead and prime the motor because if you don't prime on the Dixie Narco machines, you'll get a couple dry vents, we call them, or ghost vents or whatnot. So what I'm gonna do, is I'm gonna go to the motor tests and I'm gonna test the motor for that column and that should get everything in place to properly vent. Sometimes it does it on the first try, sometimes it takes two or three tries. So let's just go there. Right now we're in motor test. Let's go into motor test, I think it's column seven or maybe even eight, I can't remember. Okay, it's motor test eight. So we're on motor test eight. I press the button so it vends and there we go first time it worked good so we don't have to do any more tests because since it vented on the first try there they go they just dropped into place so they are ready to vend so we'll close up the cage and we're going to do a few tests 
So remember I said um, I didn't know what was going on. You notice how the dollar bill acceptor was flashing there. Um, we're gonna do a couple tests. And I wanna make sure that everything's working for both coins and dollar bills um, because I hadn't had a sale in like all day. So I'm, I'm gonna check things here. So as you can see, I'm putting the dollar in, it's giving the dollar right back. So that can mean a couple things. So we're gonna investigate, we're gonna find out what's going on. So dollar goes in, now it's registering, but it's giving me four quarters back, which is kind of the same thing as returning a dollar, right? So I'm not sure what's happening. So again, I'm pressing the buttons, it's showing me that each item is a dollar that's supposed to be a dollar. I'm like, I don't know what's going on. Um, pressing buttons, everything, you know, says it's working, but uh, there we go, that uh, blue Gatorade button's not working, as weird as that is, right? Because it was just working fine. So let's take a look inside the coin bag first. What are we gonna see? I know it's tough to see on camera what I'm doing. I'm actually kind of looking over the area. I'm, I'm looking at the instructions on the door there, trying to figure out what's going on. I'm pressing buttons, trying to get in the menu system to see what's happening. Uh, let's see, so I'm in the menu system again, I'm going to set price, checking the prices of each button. And I, at this point, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm, I'm testing buttons, but as you can see, that, that blue Gatorade button is not responding, and I don't know why. But the weird thing is, I actually, by the end of the video, I don't have it figured out. I just locked the machine up because I had to get to work. But it's working again. All of a sudden, it just started, I just started, I saw sales for blue Gatorade come through on the credit card reader, so it, it's good to go. I don't know what happened. Um, so put it down in the comments, guys. If you've ever had a Dixie Narco machine, button randomly stop working and then start working again put it down in the comments and let me know what you came across because i found it very strange i'm pressing the button nothing's happening it should be telling me the price on the reader there i don't know i don't know what happened so again i'm just checking to make sure there's no jams i didn't know if there was uh, anything going on in the column everything you know what, what can i tell everything looks normal right i don't know anyway so i'm just again making all my adjustments making sure everything's good to go Again, though, it's still not accepting dollars, so I don't know what's happening. So again, I'm looking at the at the uh, instructions there on the door, making sure that nothing stands out, or maybe I'm missing a step somewhere or something. I don't know. I'm trying to figure it out, right? And this is what happens when you're on location and you don't have all the answers. You gotta you gotta research. You gotta figure things out. You gotta get things going. I wasn't sure what to do. So again, I'm just kind of trying to read that those instructions on the door to see if there's anything I can figure out as to why I'm having the issues I'm having because I shouldn't be having these issues. This is like a, like a brand new machine, right? So again, I'm messing with the prices, you know, making sure the other buttons are responding, everything's working good. You know, I'm checking the yellow Gatorade there. I'm hitting the blue Gatorade button and nothing's happening. So obviously I'm like, why is this button not responding? So I'm gonna take a look at the behind the button, right? So that's that's behind the coin back. So I'm gonna open, I'm gonna swing that coin back door open, take a look behind the button, see if I can see anything that looks out of the ordinary or if anything looks in, in disarray. Obviously I can't see anything. I'm still pressing that button, nothing's happening. But again, I don't solve it in this video, but again, I, sales for Blue Gatorade started showing up in the credit card reader, so obviously it's working again. I don't know. That's something we're gonna have to monitor and we're gonna have to watch and see what happens, I don't know. The good news is, is if the button works sporadically, people can still choose other things and it's not just something in, in general there. So there we go, so I opened up the coin back and a quarter fell out, did you see that? I don't know, I don't know how a quarter got stuck in there, but a quarter fell out, so now that that's, cleared, I guess, I should be able to do some more tests. So I'm going to run some more tests and see if it's properly vending and accepting dollars and quarters at this point. Because previously, it wasn't working right, right? I wasn't getting any sales for the day. Things weren't working right. I'm going to hit the door switch to reset the menu. So now I should be back into sales mode. So now let's go ahead and do some more tests. I'm going to start with four quarters. Here we go. One quarter. It's registered 25 cents. 50 cents. 75 cents. One dollar. Let's vend a Mountain Dew. There we go, we got a vend, it worked properly. Let's try it with a dollar now. So we'll do one more test. We'll try a dollar bill and make sure it accepts the dollar bill and it doesn't give it back to us and still vends. And I'll just have to remember in my end of month reporting from Niax that $2 was me testing. So I'll have to subtract $2 from the total amount collected in the you know, from what the credit card reader reports. All right, so it accepted the dollar, it vended the Mountain Dew, everything's good to go and sales are back up and running. Don't know how that happened or why it happened, but let's hope it doesn't happen again. It's something I'm going to be monitoring. And guys, quite honestly, I'm checking the NIAX app like crazy, making sure sales are still happening. If sales stop happening, I'm going to have to run back up and check the machine. But so far, since I cleared that, 
Everything's been good. The only issue, like I said in this video I'm having, is the blue Gatorade button. It's not working. But again, after I shot this video, blue Gatorade sales started showing up in the Nyax app. So therefore, that button just started working again. So I'm not quite sure what the heck happened, but it's good to go now. So with that said, I'm gonna lock this machine up. And this machine does take a little bit of force to lock up. It's a little bit different. You know, the door is much heavier than the Dixie Narco 276. So I like to, you know, lift it up a little bit and latch it in place and then lock it up. So there you go. There's an overview of the Dixie Narco 501 here at Galaxy Games 843. It's time to wrap the video up. Hey guys, thanks for making it all the way to the end of the video. Again, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. We're working our way to that next milestone and we need your help to get there. So if you haven't done so yet, click that subscribe button, click that bell notification so you get notified when our new videos and our live streams go live. And while you're down there, please give us a thumbs up to like the video and also make sure you share our videos with your friends. All right, guys, thanks so much for taking the time to watch our videos and thank you so much for your support. We really do appreciate you all. It is time to wrap this video up, guys. This is Matt with Galaxy Games 843. We'll see you next time.